Good morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning from cold Idaho. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts, and I am working on this something from nothing journal. That's what I've decided to call it because it started out with nothing and it is just inspiring me. I think about it all the time. So I want to make a flip for this signature. This one already has one in it somewhere right here. Uh, it's a, actually, it's not a flip. It's a pocket that goes all the way through. And this one doesn't have one, so I was thinking about an envelope. I'm not sure how I want to do it. Maybe, maybe like that, just for a change. The papers that I have picked out are kind of, they're a little too lighthearted, I think. So I'm looking for, for a book page, so bear with me for a second. So I have this book, it's called Glorious Thunder, and it is old, let's just see. Okay, it was uh, stolen from the circulating library of Winstock, Lubin and Company. Somebody paid 25 cents for it, as is. <laughs> There's a page right there. Printed in the United States of America, 1935. So I think we're good. <laughs> let's 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 do this. Yeah, they see these papers are just a little too um, youthful, but they meet, they match color wise. So I'm gonna try to age them and darken them and things. So that's what I'm doing today. So I hope you grab some coffee and just hang. Just hang a little bit. So it would go like that. Do I, is that what I want? Let's see. So it would open, and the window would be here. Okay, first of all, that's probably not going to work. Well, hmm. Yeah, I think it'll look funny. So let's bend it just, just slightly less. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, let the games begin. The noise that you're hearing in the background is a little space heater because our furnace quit working. And somehow it's not bothering me near as bad as it might have because I know that there are people in Texas that have no heat and no water. Uh, it just really disturbs me. I just feel terrible for you guys. I have power so you know I can turn my oven on. I have space heaters. I even I have a big heater that we used at my office that heats almost my whole downstairs. So really I'm not hurting. I'm a little inconvenienced but I did use it as an excuse to lay in bed just a little longer and sip my coffee and watch Lori Girl on the Ridge. <laughs> She was tearing up old clothes. Been there, done that, girl. What's the weirdest thing you guys have ever torn up for 
a junk journal. Well, I'm getting my money's worth out of that pad, tell you what. Okay. I think I got it darkened up. So yesterday I was filming the Journal to Inspire project number eight for you guys, uh, for everybody who's participating at least, and um, I went, I have a new camera set up and I went to adjust the camera or no, I think I, yeah, I was going to adjust the camera. Oh no, the first time it happened, I was going to plug my phone in. I was filming. I was in the middle of a, of filming and my battery flashed that it was low. So I went to plug it in and I can normally do that while I'm filming, no problem. And the whole tower and everything came down and my phone landed right on this glass mat. It's an older phone, but still, I, you know, it's not something that I want or can replace. And I, I was lucky, and I felt lucky. I was like, okay, well, it didn't ruin anything. And then about an hour later or so, I had filmed and was gonna take the phone out of its little clamp thing and it's really strong it's in there really tight and the whole thing came down on me again and it came down actually on me right in the center of my chest and it, it, it hurt me I have a big bruise so this morning my husband has kindly I should show it to you except I'm afraid <laughs> it's I bet it weighs ooh, five pounds it's his uh, huge horseshoe-shaped magnet that was his father's. I don't think this thing's going to tip over now. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's... Oh, I forgot to take this downstairs. I bet I won't have this glue. Ooh, I hear air. Hmm. Eh, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to dump this water out. Am I the only one that doesn't have water in your craft room so I dump yucky water in my trash when my trash is full and then I, when you're doing like painting and stuff, am I the only one? I mean, the gosh, there's so much paper in there. It's just going to absorb it, right? That's my theory. So now, I have this cup of water, I'm just going to let that set, because I have a backup. I don't know what I just knocked over. I don't think it was very important. Oh, it was lip balm. I don't think I'll be fine without that. this in a while. So I do like my new camera setup. I like the, the holder. It seems to be able to reach further, but I'm not sure about it tipping over.
We had talked about duct tape and my husband came up, came up here with his magnet. I'm like, well, that's gonna hold it, that's for sure. What is going on? Well, fine then. I'm gonna lay that in the water. And I'm gonna just use Tombow. Let's see if it'll work. I'd never used Tombow before. I started uh, using this because this was old. I got it. I don't know where I got it. But I've, I'd never used it before. And I used it a few times. I'm like, okay then. Kind of like it. Okay, there's some book page the hard way. And my craft room was a little cold yesterday, but actually this heater is nice. I'm comfortable. Of course, I've got, you know, big heavy clothes on, but... Could have torn that just a little bigger. But I'm going to cover a lot of this, so I'm basically using this for bulk. So we did the, the journal to inspire. I wanted to talk about it yesterday, but it's a big fat secret until we post it. Martha Manigros from the Shabby Craft Studio and I are doing this journal to inspire. And you know, if you see this after, if you're watching this and you think, oh, that sounds like something I'd like to do, just jump in. It's meant to be open to flexibility so you could do it anytime, you know? It's just ideas. We're just posting stuff that. kind of keep the creative juices flowing. Uh, nor, uh, myself or Martha, either one, profess to be professionals in any given area, really. I mean, um, Martha's very talented. And, um, but th that's not what it's about. It's not about really us teaching you anything. It's just about us coming up with ideas that you could say, oh yeah, I haven't done that yet, or I haven't done that for years, or oh, I forgot all about that, yeah. And so we, you know, we get inspired by other people just like you do, and it's just about making a journal. We asked everybody who wanted to do the the project to please make a journal that was naked just to cover and pages and then each week we post a prompt and we're gonna keep doing it for as long as we want to originally our idea was to do it for 52 weeks I don't know how practical that's gonna be I hope we're able to pull it off but you know life happens and come summer, I know I, for one, am going to be busy. If I have anything to say about it, I'm going to be busy. I hope I can still film. Um, I'm kind of sort of planning on it. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can continue to film. But I really, uh, I really want to go to Mexico. But their COVID numbers are crazy, so that's not going to happen right now. Even though I'm vaccinated. Oh, that feels so good to be able to say, I am vaccinated. I need another page. This paper, this old paper, you know, when you play with old paper and it, it almost feels like it has a, t a little fuzz to it. 
that's what that yellow Amazon paper is, it feels like. You can get it on Amazon. I've posted the link several times. Um, it, it's awesome. So let's see, who have I watched? I watched um, a video this morning from, I think her channel is Mostly Paper Crafts. Oh, I get extra points if, I, if that's actually true. I, I think that's her channel. Anyway, I subbed. And uh, because she did a craft room tour that was pretty awesome. Apparently she is a math teacher. And she did a craft room tour of before because she's going to change stuff in her room. And if you're watching, girl, you got a lot of stuff. Fun, fun stuff. I mean, she has dabbled, no, more than dabbled. It looked to me like she'd been pretty serious about most things. Which reminds me, I had never seen a sidekick. And now I think I have to have one. And birthday month is a long way away, so just saying I might buy one. I don't know how much they are. I haven't really looked, but I hope they're not very much. Mmm. Oh. Good coffee. That's good coffee. Yikes. I love my hazelnut creamer. Could I just say that? Okay. Am I ready for this? I need to keep this by me so that I don't get crazy because really this paper doesn't really match. I mean, it's okay, but. Hmm. You know, it might be okay after I, uh, gesso maybe? Well, that'll be okay. All right, I'm going to go with it. It's not in the book yet, so if I don't like it, I don't have to put it in there. I can't believe how attached I am to this book. I am in love with this book. I think one of the things is the torn pages. I really like them. And I've also found that I really like ironing my um, coffee dyed paper. I know they're not going to be next to each other, but still, I'd like for them to kind of be farther from each other. Gosh, do I want it just like that? That's cool. <laughs> Jesus, Carol. Okay, you can do better than that. Let's see. Let's cut 
cut that. That's what's keeping it from. I kind of like that. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing disgusting on that page. So, I think I'll leave it like that. Now, do I want to leave it completely like that? I really like it. Oh, maybe I could use this. This is the those the paper towels that I ran through my Tim Holtz typeset embosser through the Big Shot. It, that is amazing. Isn't that cool? So I could put something on there. Hmm. I sure do like it. Paper towel. Just, I have a roll of commercial type standard. Oh. Ah, ah. I love that. Uh, just your standard roll of commercial paper towels. Let's put something around it. can't have that, can we? This is lavender tea dyed water, or tea dyed water. And I find myself just finding a reason to use it because it smells so good. Because that is wet, I'm not going to set this on here yet until I'm sure. And I'm not sure because I want a little piece of lace or something. So, let me grab something. Y'all know I love this. I love this fabric. Let me pull this out of the water. See what I have here. So, I tip this upside down in my water. Let's see. That's what I get for letting it sit so long. I haven't used this for probably a month. And I really need to take it downstairs and actually wash it. And I was going to do that and I forgot. Whoop, I think I just unclogged it. <laughs> okay. We'll see. That's beautiful. I just love it. I'm going to do that. I don't know where I got this, and I don't know if I have any more. I sure do like it. Mmm. Let me 
Okay, let's get rid of some straight edges here. Hmm. I'm liking that, and I just had an idea. Let's do this. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I've had so many awesome people reach out and leave some great comments. And it's just so fun. It really is fun. What did I do there? Got a little overzealous. Um, I am trying to branch out just a little bit, use some different things. Now this will separate. So I have been gluing the edges or sewing it or something because it will separate. You know, if you were just to glue, glue the bottom down, you'll see once it dries, because you need to dampen it when you run it through your die cutter. That was a recommendation that Tim Holtz made on his live. That's um, he wasn't doing tissue paper, but um, he was doing uh, using a 3D embosser, and um, I want to try to get this. I want to try to get that ruffled. So bear with me. Anyway, he was using a 3D dye and he said to spray it with a little bit of water before you run it through your dye machine. Just get it a little damp because, because the 3D embossing are so deep, the ed they have deeper edges on the design. And if the fabric or, I mean, if the paper isn't just a little pliable, it will just cut it. It'll tear it. Which, when you think about it, you know, that makes perfect sense. So, I did get mine a little damp, thanks to him, and it just worked great on this paper. Now, that's the side that's going to have everything covering it, so I'm going to do the other side. As much as I wish this Tim Holtz mats wasn't so noisy, it sure is nice to just be able to do whatever you want on top of it. Like this. I wouldn't want to do this on the plastic or whatever that mat is that I have from Cricut that I haven't usually have underneath this. Okay. I think we're getting closer here. I just love that fabric. All right, let's just put something down, would you? Jay, many Christmas. Okay, fine. And I'm not gonna glue the edges, I don't think. I may change my mind after I get it done, but. Love it. And this in the corner. Like so. Now, what do we want to dangle from here? Let's think about this for just a second. Ooh, I think I might know the perfect thing. Let me grab it. Let's 
also, there's a channel called Bohemian Crafting. And on that channel, she has a video showing how to make these out of paper. I think the title is like Faux Metal Charms or something like that. That's got to have a piece of paper or something under it. Let's see. No. Oh, hell no. I think it needs lavender, don't you? It's an old curtain that I donated to myself. It's way too square. What's up with that? I don't think it'll fray. No. But I wonder if I should take that off. Oh, it just smells so good. Still too many straight lines. Okay, I believe that. Now, oh, we have to put an eyelet on here. What am I thinking? That was a close call. What was I thinking? Okay, let's do pink. Let's do this dusty rose color. How's the camera angle, guys? I do feel like, okay, this is the big one. So this needs to be on, I think it needs to be on one. Oh, I'm going to get the little chart out. By the way, I've been meaning to tell y'all, I laminated this chart. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I stuck it under here. This uh, crocodile chart, and it comes in French as well. Okay, so the top base is A1 for this big one. So, yeah, I was right. My memory was right. Four, two, and one. Um, I have an extra one in French. If anybody speaks French, reads French, and you want one of these, it would be my pleasure to send this to you. I will never use it. It's all yours. It worked perfectly, look at that. So this is a, is it a 3 sixteenths? Yeah, 3 sixteenths eyelet, it's the bigger one. And it's the top is A and the base is one. So, there you go. I 
forgot the fabric. Yikes. Cute. I don't think it needs to be that big. That's adorable. I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac. Even though I think I did unclog my glue, I'm still gonna, I don't know, this just seems like maybe Fabri-Tac might be the thing. It concerns me a little bit because this is paper and my uh, white glue is Elmer's, so it's, you know, water base, so I don't know. Once it dries, it won't make any difference, but I don't know. Just seems like that's better. Oh, I like that. And I got to use my fabric. Yay! However, that being said, I think I'd like a little bit of pink on here. Just a little. I'm gonna really cheat here. There you go. There's one side. Now, let's do the other side. What do I want there? Um, I like that book page. I could do it the same. I have the same strip, but I that's too matchy for me, so let's let's do some paper. Pull up on the piece you want, and you won't get that white stuff. What's really cool is see how I push down on that, and I got that white stuff. If I pull up, you're not going to get that. saying I'm going to go downstairs and make cinnamon rolls and I haven't done it yet. It would be a great way to heat the house up. You know, I'm all about comfort for my husband. That would be great. <laughs> Actually, I just want to eat cinnamon rolls, but don't tell him that. I think even our dogs were like, could you turn the heat up? It's a little chilly in here. <laughs> okay, I like that color now that it's kind of grunged up some, but I'm thinking let's dig out
a bug or something. Let's 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 grab something out of here. I have a folio that Martha Manigros made that I love. If you haven't gotten one of her folios, go to her Etsy shop at Shabby Craft Studio and get one. They're awesome. Oh. It has a little rose there and I love it. So let's do that. That was quick. Wait, do I want to, ouch. Do I want a flower? Did I just move you? I think I did. Hope that's okay. Do I, I need a flower all of a sudden. These are so big. Where are the little ones? Miss Carol, where are they? What? a rose but it's sparkly. I've had these forever and I just never seem to like them enough to put them in anything. Now that's beautiful. Let's play with that for a minute. I can't remember whose stamps these are. I know they're Digi's. They're, uh, oh gosh, are they from my back porch prints? I, I don't know. I got them before I started trying to keep track of whose is what. So I apologize to whoever the, made these. I'm doing better at that now. That needs a little something behind it, so let me grab my... This is what I have been doing with little stuff when I print it off, and I want to keep track of who made it. And it does seem to be working. At least working better. But it's still really hard to remember once you start getting a buildup of digis. It's hard. It's really hard to keep track of who made what. I try, but that's all you can do. Okay, so I think I like this that okay
what time are we at? We have 15 minutes still. Go us. Okay, I like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So all I did to unclog this was tipped it upside down in this little cup of water that I have here. Got it all, that clog that was in there, I got it all soft and then poked my needle in and out and it seems to have fixed it, at least for now. Yeah, that'll work. What if I put something down? What, what if, just what if I did? What, 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 what? Hmm. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Let's do this. Because we don't have near enough mass on my desk. Let's do this. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm recently retired. And uh, normally on Sunday, that would be the day that I'm really gearing up for work for the next week. Not to mention, um, I was talking to my husband this morning. This is the first time in 30 years that I haven't been on call. I'm used to being on call 24 hours a day. So, before pagers, <laughs> I used to have to call in all the time. We had a restaurant at that time and I had to call, make sure everything was going okay. If I wasn't there, you know, or if my mother wasn't there. She often, we, uh, she worked one shift, I worked the other. So, and when, I don't, not very often, but once in a while, there was a time when one of us was not there, or both of us weren't there. But, yeah, before pagers, that was a challenge to keep in touch. It needs a word, doesn't it? Let's grab one. Let's just get one then. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, having a counseling business, you know, you're always, always on call. And so to, when I was sitting around downstairs a while ago, I said, gosh, my phone isn't with me. Corner of your heart. Let's do that. That feels a little strange. Okay, I'm not going to put um, words on words. So let's create a little barrier. Too big. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be able to just, you know, come up in the craft room. And I think a lot of you already know because according to my demographics for my channel, most, like I think it said 80% of my followers, my subbies, are over 50. Like me. So you guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But 
I'm still kind of new. Been retired for technically for several months now. Almost a year, I guess. Oh, I like that. Really dimensional for some reason. That really got dimensional. Hmm. Yeah, with this and this. Yeah. Hmm. But I don't think it's too busy. I don't think it's too cluttered. I like it. Yeah. Do I want something in there? Do I? Huh, I don't know. I kind of like the gray, but I have some cool papers I could put in there. Mm. I think I will. I think I'll put gray, some gray paper. There's some, <coughs> some other paper in there. Maybe, I don't know if I could darken that up enough or not. Let me look. Let's try it and see. Pull up on the one you want. Whew, yeah, that's way too bright. So let's shush it up a little bit and see what happens. something here. Hmm. It's a little bohemian, but I like it, so let's do it. So that I don't slide glue all the way down. forget to put glue on that. I almost forgot. I should have done it before I got it on there. Okay. I don't see any glue seeping out anywhere, so it should be safe. All right, I need a paintbrush because I need to, I need to put some glue on here or we're going to have a problem. I bet I could use glassy accents on that. I wonder what that would look like. I should try it. I don't want to try it on here right now, though, because it's already glued down. And if I hate it, it'll ruin the project, so I don't want to do that. And this will probably be fine, but this just gives it a little insurance. that it's not going to separate. Oh my gosh. I just freaking love that. Yeah, that'll be fine. Do I believe that? Why, yes, I do. I do, I do. Okay. Thanks for playing. 
Where's my... I missed the sale at Hobby Lobby for the... in their sewing notions. This, I guess it was over yesterday. I've got to get some stainless steel pins. I have to. I ordered some from Amazon. That's where I got these. But it was like... Ugh. I don't remember how much it was, but it was more than I wanted to spend for six needles. I really don't want to have to worry that I'm going to lose my needle. I want a package of them. Do I want to save that? Apparently I do. I'm not saving this stuff. I I'm not doing it. You can't make me. It makes my life worrisome. And I'm retired. <laughs> I don't have to worry. Hold on. Okay. Where are you? That might be easier than moving the camera. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Okay. Oh, I like the way this turned out. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now what? Now what are you going to do? Have a sip of coffee, why don't you? Okay, I will. Mm. Should we see if I have any success? It would be nice to be able to use this. get my needle stuck. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna happen. Let's see. We'll see. I might play with it a little bit, but I don't know. It needs to be taken downstairs and cleaned up. All right, let's get back to the issue at hand, which is this. Hmm. That is beautiful. I like it a lot. What about this? I like the book page. Not sure about this. Actually, it's not, it might work. <laughs> Actually, let's not do, whoops, see I did it the wrong way. Let's not do quite so much of it. with that. Not great, but
I was checking to see where my edge is because we changed it. So for those of you who did the prompt number eight, what do you think? I thought it was fun. Really fun, actually. I liked it a lot. I'm glad we're over the Valentine thing. That's never been my gig, really. So what if we just did something like this with words? And then I do still have this flower. <laughs> oh, we need a tab. Oh my gosh. Can't believe I let that go. We have to have a tab. Oh, what about some of that? Let's do that. And let's get a tab. And let's use this word. Okay, there's one. I made a bunch of these. And there's two. And we'll use this. Great idea, Carol. Do that. Actually, hmm, do I want to tear it? If I tear it, it's got to be torn all the way. I don't like the sort of torn. it up a little bit. See what it looks like when it's all stressed out. This music paper is like 1800s. It's so brittle it just cracks. It doesn't really tear. It's okay, I guess, but it's not anything special. However, when you put a tab on there, that really changes things up. Let's put a tab on here. Let's work the whole thing around this tab. We'll put the tab there. What if we put the word vintage right there too? What if we did that? Hmm? I think it's this I'm having a problem with. Huh. That is just not, it's just not doing it for me. I think we're getting closer. What do you think? Mm. 
One more thing. Have a sip of your coffee. Or your cocktail. Or whatever. I've been staying away from these buttons because they add bulk. But, you know, when you need one, you need one, and that's, you just have to have it. So, I think this is what we're going to do. Let's get the other stuff down. And... Go from there. I just love these tabs. I don't know what it is. Right now I'm I'm all about the tabs. It's all about the tab, about the tabs. All right. Let's get some gauze. Actually, this is cheesecloth. Not gauze. I don't know where that came from, but if it stays, it stays. Okay, stay. And for some reason, I did kind of like that there. So we'll put that there. Let's make it just a little crooked. Okay, I think I like this. Does it need anything? Before I put this down, It's okay, just like that. Okay. Well, it must have warmed up outside because I hear a four-wheeler. I think this needs some thread or something. And I have some right here, so... Maybe... I do have some embroidery floss. My hands are so sticky, I don't think I can do anything with it. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not going to try to thread it. I'm going to just tie a bow. I'm not going to tie anything. I've got to get the glue off my fingers. We're way over time, guys. I set an hour, and we're over, so I'm going to tie this really fast. Okay, that might not happen, but I'm going to try to tie this really fast. <laughs> this is not a tutorial. <laughs> Okay. 
That is a beautiful button. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, after that dries, I might cut those tails off. I might not. We'll see. All right. That's what we got done in an hour and ten. I will finish this without you guys, and I will see you next time. Don't you just love the way this thing is evolving? I love, love, love this book. Love it. All right, guys. Thank you very much for your subscriptions. I do appreciate your support. I'd love for you to comment if you like this kind of stuff and want to give me a thumbs up. Awesome. I will see you next time. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.